Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will be determining or we will be identifying the axis of symmetry of a parabola. But before we identify the axis of symmetry or AOS, this AOS, let us first define axis of symmetry. So, axis of symmetry is the vertical line that goes through the vertex of the parabola so that the left and the right sides of the parabola are symmetric. Okay? And also, axis of symmetry is perpendicular to the directrix. Let us have an illustration. It, uh, it is stated here that it is a vertical line that goes through the vertex. So, for example, this is the vertex of the parabola. And the parabola is going up. So, if the parabola is going up, so this is the vertex. This will be our parabola. Therefore, this will be our axis of symmetry. And the axis of symmetry is vertical. Okay. Why? Because it separates the parabola into symmetrical parts. The right side and the left side. But if the parabola is going to the left or to the right, for example, this is the vertex and the parabola is going to the left, therefore, this is the axis of symmetry. Okay? And when we say perpendicular to the directrix, since this is the parabola going up, assume that this is the directrix. Assume that this is the directrix. Therefore, it is perpendicular. This is the axis of symmetry. This is the directrix. And in this case, they are perpendicular. And this is the sign for um, perpendicular lines. Okay? If this is the parabola going to the left, and this is the axis of symmetry, therefore, this is horizontal. Horizontal. And we shall say that if it is going to the left, it is opening to the left. Therefore, this is the directrix and the AOS and the directrix are perpendicular. Okay? So that is how we define axis of symmetry. So let's have an example. So let's have an example. Assume that this is the vertex of the parabola, okay? And it is opening upward. So this parabola is opening upward and the vertex is located where? It is located at 2, positive 4. So if that is the vertex, it is opening upward. This is our parabola. Therefore, where is the axis of symmetry? Okay, very good. This is the axis of symmetry. It separates the parabola into two symmetrical parts, the right side and the left side. This is now the directrix. Therefore, we could say that the axis of symmetry is, what is the axis of symmetry? It is, exactly, it is vertical. And what is the equation of the axis of symmetry? It is um, a line. Therefore, if it is vertical, what should be the equation? Yes, very good. It must be x is equal to positive 2. And that is AOS or the axis of symmetry. Therefore, the axis of symmetry for this one is x is equal to 2. Since this is vertical, we will be using x. How about for this one? If the parabola is opening to the left, if the parabola is opening to the left, so let's graph. Okay. Therefore, this is our axis of symmetry. If that is our axis of symmetry, we could say that our axis of symmetry is exactly that is horizontal and that is or and that if that is horizontal what will be the equation of the axis of symmetry horizontal therefore that will be y okay and if that is y therefore this is 3 therefore that is y is equal to 3 and that is the axis of symmetry 
Let's now have an example so that we'll be able to answer it properly. So let's just erase this part. Okay, what if we're given a standard form and we're asked to identify the axis of symmetry? Okay, for this example, we are given y minus 4 quantity squared is equal to negative 10. Let's write it properly. Negative 10 times the quantity x plus 3 halves. So let us also have the second example. That is x minus 3 quantity squared is equal to 8 times y plus 5. Let us determine the axis of symmetry. Okay, but before we determine the axis of symmetry, let us first identify the vertex. Okay, what will be the vertex? It is located at HK. Therefore, the vertex now is where? Therefore, that is negative 3 halves and positive 4. And where is the opening of the parabola? Since this is y squared, therefore, the parabola will open to the left or to the right. But the right side is negative. If the right side is negative, therefore, the parabola is opening exactly opening to the left okay so let us try to graph our x is 3 halves let us try to plot first the vertex our x is 3 negative 3 halves so this is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 halves is negative 1.5 and then positive 4 1 2 3 4 so this is now the vertex and it is opening to the left if that is the vertex if that is the vertex therefore we could say that this is the axis of symmetry okay therefore this is the axis of symmetry and how do we identify the equation of the axis of symmetry this is now the shortcut enabled for us to identify the equation of the axis of symmetry since this is y minus 4 quantity squared, always remember that the one being squared contains the axis of symmetry. Again, the one that is being squared in the equation or in the standard equation of the parabola contains the axis of symmetry. We have y minus 4 quantity squared. Get y minus 4 and then equate that to 0. Therefore, Transfer negative 4 to the other side. Therefore, the equation is y is equal to 4. And that is the easiest way in which we could identify the axis of symmetry of the given standard form of a parabola. Okay? Again, just identify the one that is being squared, whether it is x squared or y squared. Get the term. So, in getting the term, it becomes y minus 4, equate that to 0, and then transfer the constant to the other side, and that is the equation of the axis of symmetry. Second example, let us first identify the vertex. We're given x minus 3 quantity squared is equal to 8 times the quantity y plus 5. What will be the vertex? The vertex is located at very good. That is positive 3, negative 5. And where is the opening of the parabola? We have x squared, therefore, it might open up or down. But since the right side is positive, where is the opening of the parabola? Or how does the parabola open? It opens, okay, it opens upward. Okay, so how do we identify now the axis of symmetry? How do we identify the axis of symmetry? Identify the variable being squared. Therefore, we have x minus 3 quantity squared. And then, get x minus 3. Write x minus 3. Equate that to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Therefore, if we have x is equal to 3, we could say that the axis of symmetry is what? If this is x, we could say that the axis of symmetry is vertical. Again, 
If this is x, the axis of symmetry is vertical. Let's go back to this one. If this is y, we could say that the axis of symmetry is... Very good. That is horizontal. Okay, let's have the last example. Okay, number three. Let's say that this is y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to um, positive 16 times the quantity x plus 4. Identify the axis of symmetry. Therefore, write this one. Since this is the variable being squared, we could say that we have y minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, y is equal to 0 and that is the axis of symmetry. If y is equal to 0, it becomes the axis of symmetry. So how do we determine the nature of the graph of the axis of symmetry? Therefore, if this is y, we could say that the axis of symmetry is horizontal. Therefore, our parabola contains an axis of symmetry which is horizontal. So we have here exercises. We have here exercises. Let us first identify the axis of symmetry. For number one, we are given x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to y minus 3. So we could say that for the axis of symmetry, we have x minus 2 is equal to 0, therefore x is equal to 2. And that is the axis of symmetry. And what is the graph of the axis of symmetry? It is, if we have x, therefore that is vertical. Is this clear? For the next one, we are given y minus 6 quantity squared is equal to 15 times the quantity x plus 4. Rewrite again the one that is being squared, the variable being squared. We have AOS, that is y minus 6 is equal to 0, therefore y is equal to 6. If we have y is equal to 6, what can we say about the graph of y is equal to 6? Therefore, our axis of symmetry is horizontal okay what if we're given x plus 7 quantity squared is equal to negative 14 times the quantity y minus 2 therefore our aos now we have x plus 7 is equal to 0 x is equal to negative 7 if x is equal to negative 7 what can we say about the nature of the graph of the axis of symmetry very good. That is vertical. And for the last one, we are given y plus 8 quantity squared is equal to 8 times the quantity 8 minus 1. Therefore, the axis of symmetry for this one, we have y plus 8 is equal to 0. We'll be getting y is equal to negative 8. Okay? And in this case, what can we say about the axis of symmetry? The axis of symmetry is... Since this is y, that is horizontal. Okay? So that is how we identify the axis of symmetry of the given equation of a parabola. Once again, the axis of symmetry is the vertical line that goes through the vertex of the parabola so that the left and the right sides or um, the graph of the upper part and the lower part of the parabola are symmetrical or they are equal. So again, the axis of symmetry is perpendicular to the directrix. So in order for us to determine the axis of symmetry, just identify the variable being squared and then equate that to zero and that becomes the axis of symmetry. Once again, I am engineer John Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.